Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie Man here. Welcome back to another episode of this Football Manager 2019 save here with CSKA Moscow. In this episode, we're going to take on Ruben Kazan. As you can see by the table down there, things have started off very, very well here in Moscow. I'm very, very happy with the start we've had, the performances we're putting in and the way we're playing. Uh, the transfer window is done and I'm pretty sure we only did uh, the business of bringing in Rasmus Falk the legend, uh, and bringing in Ignacio as a backup left back from Porto. I'm pretty sure that's it. Ruben should be a tough test again today, but so far we've done very, very well in the league and we're performing very, very well, so I'm very happy. First of all, I'd just like to jump in and just say... Check down below, there is the Twitter, the Twitch and the Discord. As per usual, feel free to go and join us on any of those or all three of those. Also, I just want to say thank you very much for the support um, recently, especially on the start of this series, on the Braga series and the new subscribers we've got. It's been insane. Thank you very much. But let's jump into the schedule. The schedule so far, as you can see, has gone very well. After the Super Cup win against Lokomotiv Moscow, we then played Arsenal, Tula and Drew 1-1. I mean, we dominated them, but they scored late on. And after that, it was kind of a little bit like, hmm, is this going to be tougher than I expected? But then we played against Lokomotiv Moscow. We beat them 2-0. I was very happy with this. Uh, Nikola Vlasic getting both goals. We then played against Zenit, beat them 3-0. Sigerson with a hat-trick in the first half. Um, it was the first time I used him. He was ridiculously good uh, and then we played against Rostov, Sigerson, Rasmus Falk, the legend himself and Akametov. Yeah, get used to names being butchered. Uh, but in this game we will be taking on Ruben Kazan. I'm ready for it. Our Champions League group is absolutely ridiculously awful. Man City, Napoli and Galatasaray. I think... I don't think we're good enough to beat Napoli. I don't think we're anywhere near that standard this season. Nowhere near. But we should be good enough to beat Galatasaray twice. Touch wood. So I'll take Europa League. I'll take dropping out and being in the Europa League. Get a little bit of money from that. That's absolutely fine. We've already received the money for getting into the group stages of this competition. Absolutely cool. Financially, we look beastly. So I'm very, very happy with that. So I'm not too worried about the Champions League. We'll just do what we do. Uh, there is this weird thing. With the Russian Cup, we've got the fifth round here. It It's not showing me on this, but it draws all the rounds in one go. Like, it, it draws them all. I've just drawn, like, six rounds of Cup. It draws all the way to um to the semi-finals. It's, it's pretty insane, but okay, that must be how they do it in Russia. Um, now working out, though, what to come back on. Maybe we'll come back on Napoli. I can probably get a bit of a bigger chunk done now, it, because this is only going up, like, three times a week. That's kind of how the series are going to go now. Braga is the, f the forefront, because we start that first. We want to get through that. That's probably going to be between four and five times a week, and then this will be, you know, at least three, sometimes more. Depends how much I can get done with the streaming and stuff. Let's go to the team selection and pick our team for today's game. Who we got? This is exactly what we rocked last time out. I don't see any reason to change that. Don't change it if it ain't broken. Is uh, tends to be what they're saying. We're missing Mario Fernandez. I'll be very happy when he's back from injury. He is one of our better players. But in terms of building the squad going forward, this is going to take a lot of learning and quite a few seasons in the matter of the fact that we need young Russians coming through. And we don't have that yet. I mean, if we look at our under-18s, it's a little bit ridiculous. Do you see what I mean? Just a little bit ridiculous. And then even down here, there is no... We have no real youth prospects. They're all already in the first team squad, as far as I'm aware. Mm, yeah, the younger Russians that we've got in the team are in the first team squad already. So we definitely need to make some changes. But if we can pick up Nikola, he looks very, very good and is going to be very, very good. And he is out of contract. If we can pick him up on a free contract signing, that would be huge. And Everton don't need him. But in terms of financially, he would cost us a fortune. But let's submit that team and get into the game. <coughs> mm. Water. Yeah, it's going very, very well. It's been it's been a really good pre-season. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it here in Russia. Like, it takes me a while to get into saves. Especially it takes me first season. Like, I won't be, you know, fully invested into a save until after first season. Kind of second season stage is when I really start to get deep into the save. So, like, the Braga save now is kind of becoming more my team and whatnot. Here we've just kind of 
we, we've, apart from bringing in Falk, I didn't really have much leeway or room in the Russian situation. You know, making sure we have Russian players has definitely been key. So I'm, I'm massively scouting now the Russian team and the other teams in the league to see if we could pick up. But I want young Russian players. I want us to develop young Russian players. That's the way I want to go about it, and that's the way I want us to move forward. I do need to change this. Are we going to score here? Oh, no, we're not. To change it to key again. Obviously, I play an extended. I think anyone that doesn't play an extended, you're very, very rash. And, you know, fair play to you because I cannot play. If I play in key and we concede, I start panicking because I'm like, I don't know what to change. I don't know what to change tactically. Now, this formation is very similar to one we've... Go on, Zagwev. Oh, close. This is very similar to one... Ah, oh, that's where Mbulin is. Right, okay. Can we look at stats? And then, no, we want updates, right? Yeah. Zenit. I was looking for him. I want a left back, a really good left back. Where are Zenit? Zenit! He nearly did Zenit. Where is he? Is he on loan here? Do, 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 do. There he is. And Bulin. I had him for Leon. If you saw the Leon save, it was in last year's game. I had him at Leon. He was really good. 23-year-old. Yes, let's scout him. He could definitely be a possibility. Uh, were we at the pitch? Yeah, let's get back here. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but, yeah, he was really good for us. And I want the left back. So, he'd be, he'd be pretty decent. I'm pretty sure he would be. Um, we have not scored. They have not scored. This is one of those live comps by the looks of it so far. We have to have faith in the team, though. I could really do with another striker to go alongside a Hernandez. Hernandez, let's be honest, hasn't been... He's not been very good. He's not. We we need strikers. I mean, we really do. Um, I'm, there is the potential that they may give us more budget because the finances are so good and we've spent so little. There is the potential that they may give us budget, but if they do give us budget, uh, it'd probably be Russian players we go for. Um, the situation is, is obviously with the six foreign player thing, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I don't have an issue with that whatsoever. Um, and I kind of know positions which I would prefer my players to be Russian and positions where I prefer them to be the foreign players and, and so on and so forth. Um, but we really need to work on building a strong Russian basis for the team. Are we going to go one down here? Oh, great save by Akin5. Smolov would be awesome. But uh, obviously we need the finances for Smolov. They're going to get the corner here. This came across as if it was going to be very dangerous. Every shot they've had is on target, which is a little bit worrying. Okay. We're underperforming. Sigerson's not being in normal self. They're going to score here. I can see this. Is that an own goal? Zagorev. Disallowed. It's disallowed. That's fine. He was being pushed, I'm guessing. Or he was pushing someone. I, I don't really know how that works. Let's bring on Diara. And then this is the situation now. I think I need to make another change to bring a Russian player on if it goes. Oh, no. I can just make that sub. <coughs> If I was to bring another player on now, I'd have to make the change. Wow, we are really... Go on, Falk. We are really coming under the cosh this second half. We're going to go attacking. Are we going to go attacking? If we can break away here, Sigerson, Zagorev, finds Vlasic. <sighs> kind of hit it into a crowd of players, didn't he? With the dominant team again. Ah, oh, we lose the ball there. Zagorev isn't having a great game, is he? Kone, great save by Akin5. That's why he's in the team, but five shots, five on target. That is not good. This performance is not good. This is the real issue now. When we come down to crunch time, that's the strongest team we can put out. And when it comes down to crunch time and it's like, right, let's make a change, we don't really have informed changes to make. I mean, that's a change we can make. And now because I brought Ignacio in, that's a change we can make. That is it. Hmm. <laughs> um, you know, even midfield-wise, the changes aren't very good. This is our situation. I don't really have a squad that can that we benefit from um, in any other area apart from the initial starting eleven. When we're playing our strongest team and things aren't going our way. There's, you know, there's no game changer on the bench. That's what you need. Is he going to get sent off here? No, he's not. 
Uh, we're gonna go attack him because this is kind of a game I saw at the start that we could we could probably win this one. Um, I will take a draw, but um, I prefer a win. Let's tell the lads to get creative. It seems to be as if the game's just fizzled out a little bit here. We seem to have started quite strong. Only seven on target, though. And this is going to be their highlight here. Unless we can win it straight back. This is going to be trouble. Maybe we should have signed Berbatov after all. Now I'm thinking about the striker situation. Ooh, that was close. That's their first shot off target. And all highlights in this second half have been for Ruben. Zagoev. <coughs> that I couldn't get to that. And this is going to be the end of game highlight. Yeah, I thought it was. Frustrating. Frustrating, but not the end of the world. A draw against a team like Ruben. I'm pretty sure Ruben is still a very good team. Um, do I want to be really strict on them and say, you know, you weren't good enough? Or do I want to be like, no, guys, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You get it next time. Um... I'm going to say unlucky. I want to keep morale and spirit as high as possible. You know, it's cold as hell over here. So, um, yeah, I, I want to keep us as, as, uh, as strong uh, morale-wise as possible. I mean, that's not an awful, awful result. What keeps us up there? They're a tough team to play against when we play against some easier teams. Zenit having a terrible time at the minute. Um, I can't get... For the life of me, why every kit runs up, apart from ours. Uh, but anyway, guys, that has been part two. Part two in the books already. Oh, man, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be a really fun ride. Once we can start implementing changes and building the team that we want going forward. Um, if you do have any suggestions of players, they're always welcome. For me, in this save, the key suggestions for us are going to be players that are Russian. That are, you know, going to produce moving forward and not you know ridiculously expensive uh, but thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one